Hello everyone, and welcome back to Confronting Chaos, a series of smaller videos to serve as partners to Chaos Fight videos to help you understand enemy gimmicks, dangerous moves, and why synergy characters are synergy. In this video, I'll be going over the Sync Lost Chapter Chaos Fight, so with the introduction out of the way, let's get into it. The first wave is against two Meryliths. The second wave is against one Bastion Giant. The Meryliths aren't too bad. They only have two HP attacks, one of which is a group move so you can tell immediately when to prepare for it. They can inflict some debuffs, but they're all generic. They will counter any magic brave attacks done to them, however, if it's an HP attack with magic hits, they actually won't counter that. Also, like other Meryliths of this type, it has a death move where it'll cast Raining Swords before it dies. However, it won't do this if it's killed in launch or in summon. If you kill both at the same time, they will both counter. It's not fun. The Bastion Giant is a unique boss for this fight. It is weak to ice and is tough against magic. It has a high resistance to Paralyze and is immune to the max HP down debuff inflicted by the Meryliths in the first wave. It only has two HP attacks, which may seem not bad, but the Giant has an interesting gimmick. Despite how big and bulky it looks, it can actually do several moves in a row. Late in the fight, it can do three actions in the span of one turn. This coupled with its assortment of brute brave attacks means it could potentially go from break to lethal, especially if someone on your team gets broken. With the enemies out of the way, let's analyze the boosted characters for this fight. Sync gets realized on this banner and she has a small gimmick in her kit. She inflicts a debuff called Stun using her abilities, and when there's a high enough stun stack, her abilities gain their plus variations, which is overall a stronger cast. However, it will remove the stun debuff. Earthquake hits all targets, home run swing is single target. At EX plus 2 of 3, she can regen uses of home run swing, and at 3 of 3, the EX cast is improved a fair amount. She forces launch, delays, and party batteries on EX cast, except the cast itself is on a fairly slow recast speed. Snow gets his EX on this banner and turns into a great tank if you've missed both Zack and Galoof. Similar to Zack, he takes damage straight on, but his Steel Guard buff reduces the damage taken rather than having a brave damage shield. His EX buff also adds to his tanking ability by reducing HP damage taken by the party similar to Porum. Also similar to Zack, his EX applies lock to all enemies, and his ability to hit weakness with Frost Strike gives him decent burst healing. He also has some added utility with Party Battery from Steel Guard and his Enhanced Brave Attack. Kate Sith, or how I found it it's apparently supposed to be pronounced, Ket Shi, is the support for this lost chapter. His cheerful gift buff has HP and Brave regen, as well as raising attack. He batteries with Mog Dance and his Brave Plus attack, and Toy Soldier can do OK Brave Shave and damage. His auras are low, but he does provide generic buffs, mostly max brave. His EX is not available on this banner. The weakness to ice has Shiva be the obvious summon choice. Like I mentioned earlier, the Merilis will perform a final attack before dying, so it's understandable to use summon when they're both in the red. Running Onion Knight with Diablos could give him and the whole party great damage while hitting enemy weakness, provided you can trigger the HP conditional early enough in the fight. Since the second wave is just one enemy, Leo is a great friend support here for his high damage, single target weakness debuff, and delay. As for the team I chose, here's the breakdown. Hope provides party healing, some auras, has a defense down debuff, and maybe best of all has frame defense buffs. This means that Snow is going to be a very tanky boy, and of course also helps Noctis. His amount of buffs also works well with Snow in pushing off the debuffs that the Merilis put on, although they're probably just going to use Absolute Chaos again soon after. He can also reduce party HP damage taken along with Snow via his additional ability. Noctis has turn control via his plus skills, a defense debuff in point blank warp, good longevity, and a launch which is generally pretty nice. Honestly, I had memories of using him during the sync event co-op months ago, so I figured why not bring him back? Snow keeps the enemy's attention throughout the entire fight. A normal recast EX means no issues were had in keeping the lock debuff on. His ability to increasingly reduce incoming brave damage means that for any multi-hit attacks, his guard only gets steelier. His battery helps Noctis since his HP++ attack is pretty strong, and it can also help keep the party safe in the first wave. He also adds to Hope's EX cast healing with his own additional ability providing party regen while it's active. With that, this chaos fight should be covered. If you want to see my footage of this fight, I'll link it in the corner and in the description below. If you liked what you saw and want to see future fights, subscribe so they show up as they're made. If you have any suggestions or thoughts, drop them in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.